I know you're wondering if this is champagne. It's it's not. It's water. It's cold water. Why am I drinking it out of a wine glass? <laughs> Soft life door. I am so So, uh, <coughs> welcome to another Get Ready With Me video. So, I did, I made one Get Ready With Me video like a couple days ago. I have not posted it yet. I have never edited it. But I enjoyed it so much that I decided, okay, let me make another one. You know, even if I probably never have time to post it. But I just, I just really enjoyed the fact that I just got to sit down. It's, it's so calming, sitting down, doing my makeup, just talking, expressing my feelings. It's like, that conversation I have in my head. But I really never get to like actually voice them out or like talk to anybody about it. So I just, I just thought it's, it's like a like, nice avenue to just get out everything that's in my head because I'm not I'm a very smart person, but nobody gets to see that. So the topic for today's video is going to be soft life. I know you're wondering if this is champagne. It's it's not. It's water. It's cold water. Why am I drinking it out of a wine glass? <laughs> soft life door okay <laughs> let me start doing my makeup i beg i'm okay i'm going for another person's graduation today again my last gary do me was like me going for someone's graduation i'm going for graduation today again i just want to you know what at this point every single time i'm making up i'm going to be doing videos because i can't always be making up in vain <laughs> you get like why should i just make up if, if there's it's like I'm, I'm just trying to the opportunity zuko kovu can you guys not fight i'm making a video I want to use this um, makeup time as opportunities, like you know, just create content because it's not like I even have time to create content as much as I want. So, so in my last vlog, by the way, that's the primer I use. It's not doing it because I, yeah, that's the primer I use. In my last vlog, I, I was talking about soft life, but I never ended the discussion. Soft life is this if you're watching the video, you've never had a soft life. Hmm. I ain't in 2022 yet. This is probably a good time to tell you guys that I do not know how to do makeup. Don't come for me if any of my methods are like, you know, unorthodox. I said this exact same thing in my last video. Is this deja vu? Like, this exact same line was my last video. Okay. So, I'm going for a graduation and I'm already running late. But, like, why should I go in? Is it my graduation? Like, she, I'm already there to literally just scream when they call her name. I, you know, that's the only part I'm going for. It's not like I'm going to go listen to one inspirational speech that's going to change my life. Actually, it probably is going to be an inspirational speech that's going to make me change my life. Hmm. But the truth is, I didn't even need to do my eyebrows when I do makeup because, like, I was blessed with full and luxurious eyebrows that it's like I don't even need makeup at this point anymore because my eyebrows are just full. It's like my best feature and it's perfect. Like, I wake up like this every morning. Yeah, I don't even need to do my eyebrows, but sometimes we just we just like to, you know go the extra mile and do it so my phone decided to overheat so i had to, i went ahead and did my eyebrows and my um base foundation which i'll just complete now soft life many people okay first of all soft life started like early this year 2021 two what year are we in 2022 yeah yeah so soft life started early 2022 and everyone's like oh soft life soft life hashtag soft life but i feel like and I never really got a definition of soft life, so I made up my own definition. Because when I hear the word soft life, like it's like I think about a certain thing, but people are kind of like portraying it to mean like a whole different thing. And it's like, okay, so first off, soft life, you, you can't just wake up one day and say that you're living a soft life. It, I mean, it takes time to transition into soft life because it's a natural way of life, like it's. It's not just vibes. It's an actual way of life. Like, you don't just wake up one morning. You that like, I'm a bird die. You just wake up one morning and be like, oh, I'm living a soft life. I, I mean, it doesn't work like that, though. I've been watching videos, like, you know, about soft life. Because, you know, that's the lifestyle I want to live-ish. So, I'm like, okay, let me see what this is all about. And I'm like, what people are thinking about it. And, like, I mean, I really don't agree exactly with what some people are thinking, like, soft life is. Because I'm going to, like, give my own definition. And that is my own rules guarding soft life if you want to use them too i mean feel free so like i said first of all soft life takes time to transition into any lifestyle at all takes time to transition into using soft life as an excuse to be lazy like oh soft life i don't want stress so i'm not going to work i'm not going to like you know kill myself at this job or whatever I, soft life is not laziness so i i that one i don't agree with it at all soft life is not an avenue to be lazy 
soft and lazy are two entirely different words you get me first of all you have to learn to be calm 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 you can't just you can't like gra gra like gra gra is it's not our thing anymore like you can't just like gra gra okay first of all let me tell you i'm not living this i'm not living the soft life i want to live yet but i'm transitioning and so far almost i like it though it's peaceful and there's no headache at all like you're just ha huh, i can't I, I can't explain the feelings it's just how do i explain it like it's so good i can't even explain it. it's just so calm like you don't have anything stressing you out your skin is looking better <laughs> i've said this one million times suffering is not an accomplishment so please we just want even if we are suffering it we don't want anybody to know we are suffering because it's not an accomplishment you want to be glowing every single time you know you just, you just want to be giving up that vibe i've been saying this thing like my past two videos like my vlog and my girl me video you have to be grateful to live a soft life you have to learn to be grateful for what you already have because if you're not grateful for what you already have you're going to be stressing about oh i want this i want this i want that i want that but like you're forgetting that oh i already have this thing though this time i prayed for this thing and you know god answered my prayer and gave me this thing at that point in time i thought that, that was all i need in life so be satisfied with what you have for now that doesn't mean you should not be hungry and hustle low. please oh mommy hustler like this that doesn't mean you should not be hungry and hustle low, but like be grateful for the things which you already have and learn to be satisfied with these things while you're trying to make yourself a better person capish so people think living a soft life is like quitting their job traveling the world you know sometimes then eh, you have to live a soft life now to live an even softer life in the future being a soft life doesn't i say being a soft being a soft lifer let's call ourselves soft lifers being a soft lifer doesn't stop you from being a go-getter <laughs> when i say i'm smart people say it's a lie oh wait wait what is the next answer in this makeup oh powder it's all about working smart not working hard so i'm going to make another video on like you know things to do at your job or like how to work and not burn yourself out but one of the things i'm going to talk about in that video is, is i mean just, it has to do with soft life so it's about not stressing yourself too much at work in this life nobody wants to you know climb the corporate ladder faster than i, I am that i want than i want to but am i going to stress about it no because stressing about it does not change it people need to understand the fact that stressing about something does not change it literally nothing changes if you're stressing about it so instead of stressing actually do something to change it you can't just say oh, i want this i want this level five position at work you're, you're just talking about it you're not about it. it's not going to change it's not going to change somebody one smart person i don't know the person is but somebody said doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result is insanity we are not insane we are soft lifers so we are going to work smart not hard so i have this theory here i just you know said thinking about it like a while ago if you start a job and you know you start a job and first the second day you really show everybody there that you're the best at the job when life starts to hit you and you can't perform anymore it's like oh this girl she's she's not going to get a promotion because like when she started she had this fire in her but all of a sudden the fire has died down the fire hasn't died down or you just maybe slacked a bit but because you're used to the, the the um you're used to the fire you they're going to use their first instinct to judge okay this girl doesn't have that fire anymore so let's just let this opportunity pass her by you get but if you start a job and you do i'm not saying be lazy please i hate laziness and i am for, i'm i'm from the school of thought that if you do if you have a job do the job description if you have a job go ahead and do like what the job is supposed to be it's up to you if you want to take me personally i'll take on extra stuff just because i'm that kind of person but you don't have to take extra stuff when you first start start and get you know have a steady ground start the job and do do what you're supposed to do don't do over don't over, don't go overdo and kill yourself so that when you when you actually want to get that promotion you start overdoing and then it's like ah, this guy's overdoing you know, right all along they never knew that actually you can overdo but just you just weren't showing yourself you get so you have to work smart not hard it's, it's all about not stressing ourselves again this whole thing is surrounded about no, around not stressing ourselves it doesn't mean that because I, I, want, I want to live a soft life i'm not going to be the ceo of that company it doesn't mean i'm not going to be a boss babe you get i'm still going to be all these things because we are not lazy one thing soft lifers aren't is we are not lazy like at all so if you're if you're thinking you want to live a soft life because you want to, because you're a lazy person it's not for you 
or you're living a different kind of soft life just not the kind of soft life that me i want to live living a soft life means that the people close to you is their the number is going to reduce drastically like nobody should be able to read you they should just know okay this person is soft but they shouldn't know what she's thinking like that's what that's where i'm trying to get to. like this kind of like okay everybody just knows me like okay but what am i thinking you don't know never let them know your next move just be be mysterious just have this be mysterious people are scared when they don't know what you're thinking that, that's the truth and like when people don't know what you're thinking about they are threatened by that so use that to your advantage and just when people don't know they're not going to stress you when they know when they don't know what you're thinking about but when you're, but when you're the go hub for gossip more you'll be stressed because people will come to you steady looking for gist so you have to reduce the amount of people who are close to you if if them being close to you is not adding any value to your life or maybe they don't have any history with you or anything or more i don't see the point really i, I mean m many people might not agree with me but to be honest i don't see the point they're not adding any, any, any benefits to your life now or they never have in the past the people who are, are, are my friends now not because they're adding benefit right now but because in the past they've been there for me i'm not i'm not trying to let go of that we don't forget who helped us when we we're climbing to climb the ladder that's one thing so because somebody is not actively in, um, impacting your life right now does not mean you should cut them off no this person helped us in the past and we're not about to forget that soft life if you're hanging out with somebody all you're talking about is suffer suffer of life I'm not, it's not what it's we, we know we are suffering we don't have to keep saying it again we are suffering we know it it is it is known we don't have to keep saying it over and over again saying it over and over again does not change it like i said it's just stressing you out and the last thing we want is stress <laughs> you're learning that's the type of time people want to hear gist so just so know what you're telling people and know who you're telling 90 percent of people want to just come and hear gist the many five want to compare yourself into their suffering the other five percent that's genuine that's the five percent you should keep around the one that's not gonna stress you i think i touched on this before but never forget what shaped you or never forget who shaped you so okay we are this part ish what put my liner so we're at this particular point of our lives now and you know we're a, little, we're a little bit comfortable we're not exactly comfortable but you know we're better than where we were before don't forget what made you get there because all, all the fact that you're living a soft life don't forget who made you get there don't forget the experiences that made you who you are just be you but don't forget what made you you because if you forget then it's really pointless you really never learned anything growing and life is going to keep getting harder and you will think that you're not succeeding where you're actually succeeding all because you forget that there was this ladder that you climbed just people think that okay it's about you know forgetting not thinking about the future just living for today no soft life is about thinking about the future because we want to live an even softer life in the future so like right now we're trying to be soft enough to get even softer <laughs> soft life is not forgetting about the future but living strategically now to live an even softer life in the future and that future is you know dependent on you how many years you from now you want it to be it says like i said before soft lifers should be hard workers not hard workers like physically but hard workers mentally so that way we're working smart not hard and also you people might make it seem like okay they didn't work to get ready when where they got to they just okay you're just looking at this influencer on instagram or like on youtube or like on tiktok and they'll say oh they're living a soft life they don't they don't want to stress about life they're not working hard anymore they don't like live a soft life but you you have 1k in your account you don't know that youtube is paying them instagram is paying them you have 1k in, in your account you're like yeah i want to live a soft life to go soft life and then you go and quit your job you go and quit everything because it's all in the name of living soft life auntie you're not smart though one thing you need to remember is that everybody lives different lives literally everybody lives different not two people live the same life at all everybody lives different lives so stop using stop using other people's lives as yardsticks to live your own you get this is my own definition of soft life you can make your own i'm not i'm just putting this out there just you know there's, there, might, there's, there might be some people that agree with me but because this is my own does not mean it has to be your own definition of how you want life to be like i said i'm, I'm reinventing myself and trying to transition into soft life living a soft life for me there, there are particular things i need to work on first of all things like keeping my room arranged I only arrange I only arrange my room on Saturdays literally and then the rest of the week I just scatter it only literally arrange the game on Saturday and that's stressing me out. So that's like that's one one stress I want to cut off. And that way I'm planning on living stuff like like reading the Bible every day. I do read it like weekly, but like that everyday thing, I wouldn't lie, it's really hard. I personally do not like reading. But I feel like if I do read it every day, it's going to help me attain this 
even more calmer state of life where it's like i don't want to stress about anything at all because the goal is to not stress even, it, see, the bible, even the bible said do not be anxious about tomorrow we do not want to be anxious but again don't forget you got to plan for the future without being anxious about it because the last thing we want is what stress if we can't change it let's not stress about it literally that's soft life soft life if we can't change it let's not stress about it that that is that is the logo for soft life the brand soft life that is the logo soft life <laughs> like somebody said well i don't know what her name is but i saw the video on instagram so like soft life is our best right because the last thing she said though i don't agree with she said we we're going to do the bare minimum now we're not doing the bare minimum we're doing the maximum just not stressing ourselves while doing the maximum because we want to we want to be that person who achieves the maximum Rom romanticize your life or like look at you fall in love with yourself yeah okay that's like the main the main thing that leads to soft life you have to fall in love with yourself if you don't love yourself eh, you're going to find yourself comparing yourself to other people and it's see comparing yourself to people is, is stressful everything in this life is stressful to me i don't like stress <laughs> life in itself is stress being alive is stress so how do you go and start getting additional stress and adding it and adding it you're not going to be happy at all so first of all for, for the, fall in love with yourself and romanticize your life like you know how people are always posting like all these vibish videos on instagram like in your head your life should be like that even though, even though it's not like that though but in your head your life should be like that the, the main reason why i make like all those mini vlogs and post like you know all these mini vlogs of me getting ready to go somewhere and then posting my outfit it's just so i can look back and be like ah, I'm, not, ah, I'm that babe oh. like ah, i'm living this life oh even though in, in that video i wake up put camera first because um, i want to brush my teeth i put camera just to be getting a little when see the things you show me they are edited so it's like if you don't filter your life and edit your life to see the, to see the good part you're not going to you're not going to be able to live a soft life you have to be able to mentally edit and cut out those bad clips to be able to like live a soft life because if i if you let me keep talking i'm going to keep talking and talking and talking because like you know i have a lot of ideas on how to make this happen again i've not achieved the level of softness i want to achieve but i'm literally almost there and i'm i'm content with this level of softness that i've already achieved i don't want to be content like with this so i'm trying to like you know achieve a higher level of softness which like i said requires me working on myself and i did told you guys a few things that i want to work on and that i want to work on is like putting my parents and my family my everyday schedule just as i'm trying to put god in my everyday schedule so it's like i really really need to work on that because it's not hard like that to, it's just that personally i do not like to talk like i'm not that person who's going to call you every day but i need to be that person who's going to call you every day so that has to compromise in that aspect so it's going to take time to work on that but these are just a few things i want to work on you need to be you need to be intentional about working on stuff so list the things you want to work on and start striking them out one by one i read this article on jw.org i think it was in this magazine talking about how to maintain good habits or how to develop good habits i don't know i've forgotten about it i'm going to link that magazine in the description box so you can now read it i think it said something about to develop a habit you have to do it for two weeks first so to develop the habits um, my habits i'll have to do it for like two weeks first and then you know one month and then it becomes a habit and with that article was like really really helpful i'm going to share the magazine for you guys to read but anywho um i'm going to go get ready i have this outfit in my head <clears throat> but i don't really have the exact clothing to make this outfit a reality so i'm not going to work with what i have and hopefully it looks good and of course i'm going to show you guys but anyway it was nice talking to you guys let me know what you think soft life is let me know what your like you know your ideas are if you're living a soft life if something you hope to achieve like you know your goals and everything just you can tell me in the comment section tell me if i was talking trash because i probably was to some people but i don't care <laughs> okay i probably was to some people but anyway, just let me know what you thought about this video in the, section, in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me videos, because I have a lot of things in this small head of mine. Actually, my head is very big for my body. But I have a lot of things in this big head of mine that, you know, I don't show anybody. And, you know, somebody might learn from from it. So, it's, I might as well just start sharing it. So, just let me know what you think about this video. And I'll make more videos. Bye. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never say